when you eat a bunch of carbohydrates right before exercise, you see a spike in insulin. Insulin binds the fat cell at very, very low levels at high potency, meaning you don't need much insulin to have a profound impact on how fat cells work. And it shuts down fat breakdown for fat oxidation. So when athletes are consuming higher carbohydrate-based diets, they are paradoxically inhibiting the degrees of fat oxidation they can tap into, becoming what some may call less metabolically flexible. We also see when they do that, they paradoxically break down muscle glycogen. Why? Because if you're trying to maintain prolonged strenuous exercise output and you're blocking fat oxidation, where do you get the other substrates from for carbohydrates? You have to pull it from the store forms in the muscle. So oftentimes people are consuming high amounts of carbohydrates before exercise or during exercise, and they think that they're preventing the breakdown of muscle glycogen. And they are paradoxically forcing it to be broken down because they're blocking the component of fat oxidation during exercise.